Hey, so if you're creating an online course, I think that worksheets are an absolute must for a flagship program. And a lot of people aren't super comfortable with design and they don't really want to have to delve into Photoshop or InDesign or any of those advanced design tools because they just want to keep it simple, which I completely understand. And today I want to show you how to create really awesome looking PDF worksheets using a tool called Canva, which is a cloud-based design application. And if you've never used it before, you can just go ahead and type in canva.com into your browser and sign up for a free account. Um, just put your name and e your email address in and a password, sign up, and then you'll be taken to a page that looks like this. And from here, you can go ahead and choose whatever type of template that you wanna use. Um, and for this video tutorial, of course, we're gonna be talking about PDF worksheets. So for that, you're going to choose A4. Once you click on A4, you'll see a blank page pop up. And then from there, you can go ahead and look on the left hand side menu and see all the different templates that are already created for you. Now, unfortunately, they don't have any like pre-made templates that really fit well for worksheets, but I'm going to walk you through step by step exactly how to create the worksheet. The same one that I did right here in this example. To get started, just go ahead and start, choose an image or choose a template that you think will fit well, at least as a starting point for this first page. But I'm going to recreate the one that I did yesterday. So if we look at that right here, so I'm just going to look for a large background image and then we'll edit the text from there. Okay, so the first thing that we wanna do is change the font and change the text here. We're gonna make it look like this, how to guide online course worksheets. Now from here, we can change the font and the type size. The font that I used in the previous PDF is Railway, so I'm going to go ahead and pick that again. And then I'm going to change it to, I can't remember the exact size I used, I think it might be 36. And right now you'll see that bold is checked if you click on this drop down, so I'm going to uncheck bold. And then I'm also going to, well I guess we can leave it centered, but I'm going to shorten this. And then I'll repeat the exact same process for up here. And then if you need to shrink it a little bit more or bring it closer together, but you don't necessarily want to make the font smaller, you can click on text spacing and drag it over to shrink it, the text, the space in between the text just a little bit. And if you highlight this and click the this circle, you can change the color to whatever you want. And then click white. And from there, we're gonna to go to elements on the left-hand side, click on shapes, and I'm gonna drag this over. I'm gonna change this to the pink that I had. If you click the plus button, you can choose any color that you like. You don't, you're not restricted to the ones that are already showing there. And if you know the hex number for a specific one, then you can put it right, right here. And then you can click the back button, click it twice, and the text will come above it. We're gonna drag this down a little bit so it's even. That looks about right. I'm gonna use my arrow keys to just move it down one pixel because sometimes if you drag it with the mouse, it's too difficult, to, you'll move it too much. And then now we'll move on to the next part where it's online course and then the worksheets. So another trick is if you just hit the T, you'll see that the text um, drops in here. So 
the font that I'm going to use here is called Open Sans. So I'm going to click that, change the size of it, I think, to around 48 and make this white. And then if you click copy, you can duplicate it. I'm going to change that to course. And I'm going to left align these so it's easier to make sure that they're um, aligned perfectly because it will auto snap to that. And then again, alignment's important in design, even if it doesn't seem like a big deal. You want these to be as perfectly aligned as possible. If you look at this, uh, it's not perfect, but close to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to, I think I'll shrink this text spacing again a little bit and then maybe increase this one just a tad. Okay. And then we'll add another text by hitting T and this one we're going to create or type in worksheets. So the font I used here was over the rainbow. In the size, let's try 48. No, it needs to be bigger than that. We'll make it white. Okay, that looks pretty perfectly aligned. I'm going to go ahead and drag this image down again because I'll show you another trick. If the image is behind it, it won't let you do this because it will, it will click on the image. But if you go like this, so you're dragging your mouse completely across, then it will select all of the elements that you just dragged your mouse across and you can easily move things up. So we're going to put this right there. Okay, so you can drag this back up. And now this image doesn't really make sense for this. So if you click in, on search, I was searching for different things like online courses and typing um, and computer, and I found this image pop up. You can also upload any pictures that you want by clicking on upload and actually upload your own images, but they have a ton of images here. The thing is that everything's free other than the images. So if you pick an image on Canva, then it will charge you a dollar in order for you to actually download the file. So right now, this is going to have a watermark on it, but as soon as you download it, it won't. Like it will, it will look like this. And I like it how that looks. So now we can move on and add the, start the next side of the page. To do that, you're going to click right here and you're going to, actually if you click here, it will copy the page. So it will complete, it will create a complete duplicate of this that we already did. We don't want it to look the same, so we're going to click Add New Page. And from here, we'll start adding the rest of the content. And we're going to go to Elements again to make the header or the yeah, header area. I'm going to pull over a rectangle. And I'm going to change the color to my color. So I'll shrink that down a little bit. And then I also want to bring my logo, which I uploaded by clicking upload your, upload your own images and then choosing the file from my computer. But since I already have it here, I can drag it, see where it's centered and then drop it. And I want it to be a little bit smaller. So that looks about good. And then if you notice down here, I have these little circles to add a little bit more design element. And to do that, we're going to go to elements again and click on lines. And there's a lot of different options you can choose from, but I'm going to pick these circles. And then if you just drag it in, it will become smaller. And again, I want to change this color to the pink. And we'll go right there. And then we'll copy this. 
So it will create a duplicate of what we just did. It makes it easy because it auto automatically aligns to the area that you were just at. And again, this is kind of hard to see just by looking at it with the naked eye. So if you hit command colon or command semicolon, it's the same same button. It will show you the grid. And so I want the, the little dots to start right on this line. And the same thing for this one. I'm going to drag this out just a little bit. Okay, so that looks good. And I don't want the grid there anymore because it makes me makes it difficult to see how the design is going to look. So if you just hit Command Semicolon again, it will disappear. And from here, now we want to put the title. And if you go to text, you can see all the different text options here. Yeah, it was this one. Although I changed the font to over the rainbow again and made it white. And this is too big, so we're going to make this, let's try 42. And then I'm also going to change the font back to Open Sans and make it not bold. Okay, so that looks pretty close to what I had yesterday. Okay, so now we're going to move on. And again, we're going to go back to Elements, go to Shapes, click this same little... This is where the grid's going to come in useful again. So we're going to Command semicolon to pop it back up and we want all of the margins to start around right in this line and then drag it out to there and we'll change the color to the pink and then if you hit T you can drop in the text again and this is going to be getting started I like dragging them all the way over the width of it so you know that it's centered within this little space. Okay, so now the next thing I want to do is get my one, two, three, four on the page. And if you type in one, you'll see a few different options that pop up. We'll pick this one, change it to the pink, and then move it down. You have to make it big enough so you can move it, and then you can make it a little bit smaller if you like. So now that we have it in place, I think I had it at 24. Now we're going to do that for each of the numbers. So 2, 3. And I'm just going to use my arrows because it's going to be a lot easier to move something that's really tiny like this. Okay, and then I added different text boxes. I'm going to press T so that drops in. And I'm going to copy and paste this down here. Change this to 12 because that's the size that I had it set for. And again, I'm going to make this um, left aligned rather than center aligned. And I'm going to have it start right where this white line starts. And now that I have those settings already created, I'm just going to copy it. And now we're almost done with the first the first option. And that will make everything else a lot quicker because you'll see what I'm going to do right now. Once we have the first set done, we can easily copy this area and re recreate it for the other ones. So the last thing I need to do is go back to Elements. Again, click here for a rectangle. And we want to align this with the border we, we have at the top. And I'm going to change the color to a light, light, light gray. Then if we click on it and we hit back a few times, we'll see that everything else comes up back on top of it. Okay, and this is a little bit too close to the border, the end, so I'm going to drag this down here so I can cop select all of these. And I'm going to use my arrow key to move it over just a little bit. 
and then we can drag this back up here. Okay, and so it doesn't need to be this tall. We're gonna drag it right about there. And this is where everything starts to speed up. So like I did, I selected all of this earlier. We can do the same thing with this. And then hit copy and drag it over. And this is where we want it to start. So everything is aligned, right? Double click on that. Um, another thing is Command Shift K makes them all uppercase. So Command Shift K. There we go, change to uppercase. And you can actually do that same thing by clicking here on uppercase, but the less that you have to click and you can use the shortcuts, the better. Okay, so for these, we're not gonna have the numbers there. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on them and delete these. And we'll copy and paste all of this. Right here. And we're gonna change the font to, I believe I had it at nine. And then if we highlight this, I'm gonna make it a list by clicking this list. And we'll drag this over. Okay. So now that we have that done, I'm gonna have another one that has numbers right here on this side. So I'm gonna copy all of this again and we'll drag this down here. And this other side isn't gonna have the numbers, so I'm gonna copy this one and drag this down here. We'll copy it again and move it right here. And then this one has the numbers, so we'll copy this one again and move this right here. Okay, I'm gonna move this up a little bit because I made it too far away from the top. So that looks about right. And then I'm gonna move these up and these up a little bit so it doesn't look so crowded. Okay, and so the rest of it would just be copying and pasting the same thing, just like we did up here, down here. I'll also show you how I did these lines right here. Very simple, nothing tricky to it. So here where I had the text before, I deleted that, and then I'm just gonna use the underscore to create a line. And then I'm gonna drag it down until it kind of centers up right where I want it to be. And then we can delete these. Click on this one and copy it. Get it all to line up and then we'll do the same thing for the next two. Okay, and I actually have five here, so I just added another number that's easy enough to do, just cop same, the same process before. And it'll actually be faster if we probably delete this and copy this one over again because this one already has the lines done, so you don't have to do that process again. Okay. And then you can do the same thing for this last one. But yeah, very simple. Um, nothing too fancy dancy about it, but you can create really professional looking PDFs by using Canva. So now you're armed and equipped to go make some awesome PDFs for your online course. And as always, I'm available. If you have any questions, you can ask me within the Facebook group, Online Course Mastermind, or leave a comment below and I'll be sure to get back with you. Good luck with everything. Talk soon.